do, do, do. Hey everyone, <laughs> Dr. Beth Westy here. Today I'm gonna be talking about how to get rid of your PMS naturally. Now I'm gonna mention a few things. There are a ton more things that you can do besides what I mentioned. This is just the tip of the iceberg and some of the things that actually are super effective. But if you try some of these things and you're like, this doesn't work for me, that doesn't mean you're a lost cause at all. It just may mean that you need specifics or tactics or something, maybe a hormone detox, something like that. Something a little more powerful, something that packs a little more punch, especially if you have something like PMDD or you're really struggling. If you have more questions on this, you can click the link right here and join the wait list for the 12 week challenge that I have. Um, I got a lot of really fun stuff coming up I have a free five day challenge that's coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, tons of great, great prizes uh, and free meal guide, free exercise guide, all these other things, recipes, all this stuff for the holidays. Oh, so much fun content in there. And then I have some amazing sponsors for this. So ah, there's gonna be amazing prizes. Okay, but I don't wanna spend too much time about that. I get really excited about it. So if you're wondering about that, um, again, click links or watch my Insta stories. I'll be talking about it a lot there. But when we talk about PMS and in really what women struggle with, it's often the, the week or so before your period, right? So day 21 of your cycle, let me draw this real quick so we got a good idea about what we're really talking about specifically. Quick sketch of the um, hormonal cycle here. Days uh, one is the first day, again, about. Day one is the first day of your period. Day 14 is about when you ovulate. Day 28 is when that ends. This can be anywhere from day 21 on, right? It doesn't have to be, oh, just the day before, right? This point right here, day 21, and this whole week, week four, right here, is a, is a time when you have a lot of high hormone. Like, uh, progesterone is higher, and it can be a time where women really, really struggle. This is very, very normal. If you're like, oh my gosh, I'm sluggish. I feel like my gut is, you know, not working correctly. It's not. I feel more bloated, yet you drink water, yet you're not hydrated. Yep, I'll mention that in just a minute, how to navigate that. Um, my workouts are really hard to get through and I'm super hungry. I'm having all these cravings. You're not eating correctly for your body. So this can be a time where you struggle with a lot of different things. I'm not sleeping as well. Ugh, what's going on with me, Mwah, right? This is a time where your body's processing through a lot of different hormones. This is the toughest time of the month for a lot of women. So you're not alone, right? And you're not crazy. This is absolutely a thing to kind of work through. Again, on my wait list, I'm gonna be talking a lot more about specific tactics or things you can add in. So totally free to join. Um, and I just give a lot more information on that wait list. So that's why I encourage people to join because this is just a snippet of what I share. So hopefully there's something in here that helps you. Now, when we talk about PMS, the first thing I talk about, of course, is eating for your hormones in your cycle, aligning everything you eat with your hormones to have a good pattern um, week to week throughout the month. I talk about that more in my book, The Female Fat Solution, and this is on Amazon. If you're in menopause and you're still having hormonal mood swings, The Female Menopause Solution is going to be the book for you again on Amazon. Um, but these are things that I cover because they're so important and so essential for women to say, you know what, this is an easy thing you do with regular whole foods, shifting it throughout the month to match with what your body needs. This is an Eastern medicine tactic. There's literally nothing else out there like it. That's why I teach on it so much. Seed cycling, incorporating seed cycling throughout the month. This isn't just, oh, do this right here. Eating for your cycle and doing seed cycling is important to do the entire month long. Align all of your food with what your body's doing and you'll see an amazing result. Hydrate for your cycle. Haha, -ha, super fun things about this time here. Your body actually needs more minerals. It needs more nutrient. So hydrate differently. Make sure you're doing a one-to-one. -one. Oh, where did I put my water? Oh, shoot. Oh, okay. So example of if you're gonna do a water bottle of water, do a water bottle of electrolytes too. Alternate, water, electrolyte, same size, and go through that all day long. Oh my gosh, it's gonna change your hydration so much, especially here. You ever feel really bloated and you're like, oh, I feel like I'm just, oh, I need more water, I need to hydrate. Like you can feel it almost in your body, right? And you're like, I'm drinking so much water, I'm drinking so much water, what is wrong? I'm not getting this water. Couple things quick about this hydration. 
it takes three full days to upload hydration into your body, into your cells. So we're talking hydration on a cellular level. Because you can drink water and be like, oh, I'm thirsty. I'm gonna drink some water. Mm -mm. There we go, I'm good. No, 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 no. Hydration into your cells is a whole different world. That is what changes a lot of the PMS issues. So hydration takes enough water, like a gallon of a gallon of liquid or fluid a day, right? And that's alternating. So it'd be a half a gallon of water, half a gallon of electrolyte, alternate back and forth. Yep, do it. <laughs> and then do that for at least three full days because it takes three days to upload that into your system. And that alternating between electrolyte and water actually uploads that hydration into your system. That's how you're gonna get fully hydrated. Changes everything. Game changer right there, yes. The only, like again, this is one of those things that you're like, oh, three days, I have to do this for three days? Yeah, so you should just be doing it all the time. <laughs> you should just be hydrating like this all the time. There you go. And then increasing your protein. Again, getting those cravings, feeling like you're not getting enough nutrient. That's such a common thing for women. Super easy fix is just up your proteins. Up your proteins, get more protein in your body, right? It can be as easy as adding an extra protein shake, an extra protein bar, right? As long as it's clean and there's no garbage in it, no artificial colors, no artificial sweeteners, get that stuff out of your protein, please, 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 because it is not helping you at all. But if you have got great protein and adding an extra one a day, oh my God, you're going to get rid of any cravings or any other things that you're having along with PMS. It's just, it's going to be gone. You're not even going to think about it anymore. So that's what I got for you guys tonight. Just some quick, easy things to add in really addressing PMS because it can be across the board and it can be really challenging for a lot of women. And instead of being like, Oh, just take a mind all no, just fuel your body differently. Work with what your body's doing naturally, totally different outcome. And it's totally amazing. Um, again, hopefully you guys learned something about hydrating for your hormones because that's a game changer. So that's what I got for you guys today. Um, again, wait list, get on the list for the wait list and do not miss out on my free five day challenge that is coming up. It's December 2nd through the 6th. So it's going to be after Thanksgiving, December 2nd through the 6th. Um, totally incredible. Uh, again, lots and lots of fun stuff, free meal guide, free exercise guide, all the fun things there. Um, yeah. Okay. Oh, and if you have not subscribed to my podcast, it's the female health solution. And my YouTube channel is just Dr. Beth Westy subscribe to that as well. Cause I will be talking about more and more things there, um, that you can stay, you know, up to date on. All right. That's what I got for you tonight. Have a great rest of your night.